So when you turn your LG TV, you have, of course, your apps along the bottom here. Uh, here we have our trending now content. Up here we have our, our banner with our ads and stuff like that. Right here in the top right hand corner, we have a little gear. We're going to highlight that. And then it's going to take us to our LG's settings. So here are the all the menu options for the settings along the left here. I'm going to go and highlight network connected to wireless. So click on that. And then we're going to click on the general tab here. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to select devices. And we're going to select external devices. And here we're going to collect, select connect Bluetooth controller. And then when I highlight it, it actually gives you a little description. Now with this setting, you can connect up to four input devices. So that would be, you know, keyboards, mice, game pads, you name it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Bluetooth keyboard, which is what I have right here, and a Bluetooth mouse. Because when you have a lovely TV like this, you have YouTube, you have a web browser on this bad boy, uh, there are games and stuff. I mean, doing all, you know, enjoying that content using this remote is pretty all right, but it's not optimal. Having these to complement the, the, the um, Magic Remote makes the experience much more better, right? So anyway, enough chit chat. So I'm gonna highlight Bluetooth controller. And right now it shows that there are no peer devices. So I'm gonna do, let's first start with our keyboard. I'm gonna turn my keyboard on because right now you see there's a little animation right here. And that means it's actually searching for Bluetooth devices, right? So this TV is searching for a Bluetooth device to pair to. I'm gonna turn this on now. I'm gonna turn this into an, and activate the pairing mode uh, for Bluetooth on this keyboard. So on our keyboard, to on this particular keyboard, to turn on Bluetooth pairing, I have to turn on the on switch, which is right here. So I'm going to do that. And now there's a connect button. So I'm going to hold and press that down. Just hold it down like this. And if you can see very closely there is the little Bluetooth light. There's flashing. This one is, has a green light. Now for pretty much any other Bluetooth device, that's the same way you pretty much start the Bluetooth pairing, right? You find a Bluetooth button and you just hold it down for a couple seconds until you start seeing the Bluetooth light flashing. Now normally the light is blue, in this case it's a green one, and that's it. So it's flashing and it's in pairing mode. So let's go back now to our TV and connect this up to the TV. So let's give it, let's, so I, I'm going to just go back here and press search again because right now the keyboard is in, in uh, Bluetooth pairing mode. Let me just put the keyboard here so you can see it. So what I'm going to do now is hit the search. I'm just going to research again. See if it finds the keyboard. You have to give it a couple seconds. And there we have, there is our Bluetooth keyboard. So I'm going to select that. And right now it says that the Bluetooth keyboard is connected. And let's see if it is connected. See, I can actually navigate with the keyboard's uh, directional keys. So the keyboard is connected. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do the same thing now for our mouse. So I'm gonna turn my mouse on. I'm gonna turn on Bluetooth pairing mode. And then let's do the same thing again and connect our mouse to this TV. So here's our mouse, and to turn on Bluetooth pairing on this particular mouse, I have to hold down, well, I want to have to turn it on first, that's usually a good idea. So I've turned it on, and then over here we have our Bluetooth button, so I'm going to hold it and press it down. I'm going to keep pressing it down until I start seeing the blue light flashing fast there, as you can see it's flashing very quickly, that means that, you know, this fast flashing blue light means that this mouse is now in pairing mode and now we can go and connect this to our LG TV. So the mouse right now, so if you see it, there's a blue light flashing there meaning that it's in pairing mode, it's looking to pair with something. I'm now going to make the TV start searching for a Bluetooth device. And here we have the G604 light speed comes up. That's the mouse, so I'm gonna highlight that. And it's now connected. So let's see, let me just move my keyboard down out of the way. Is this mouse connected? Yeah, I can actually now, instead of using this as the smart 
the smart uh, the smart mouse as they say right I can use this instead all right so now I have a huge I guess computer monitor and I have my mouse and I have my keyboard set up okay so let's uh, really test this out so I'm gonna go back out now press my home button and let us go to our web browser And as you can see, my mouse is working. And uh, let's go to a web page. Take a while, guess where I'm going. So, of course, this is my website. And I can now search and just really enjoy surfing the web. This is a really lovely experience. I mean, we have our laptop, we have our laptop screens, we have our regular desktops, but if you have a huge 86 inch LG TV like this or any large screen TV, a lot of modern TVs today do support Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, this one supports up to four devices and you know, this is a really cool experience, uh, but you get it, right? It's uh, pretty self-explanatory. And you know, of course, I'm sure most of you are gonna use this just to go and check out YouTube. But as you can see, you know, doing, you know, just typing, and, and doing things, I can do it much faster than using the you know the soft keyboard on the screen and using this, the buttons on here, right? Now, if you want to disconnect these devices because you want to go and take them somewhere else, all you do, press the home button on the remote again. We see our gear at the top. We go back there, we press that. We go here and we highlight network connect to, to wireless. Then we go to general. We go to devices, we go to external devices, and we go connect Bluetooth controller where we went before. And as you can see, our keyboard and my G604 Lightspeed mouse is here. So let's disconnect the keyboard. I'm going to highlight Bluetooth keyboard, and I'm going to so you can either disconnect it, right? Or just delete the device. Just deleting the device is what I would do. Then it, re it just removes it from the peer list, right? And then I do the same thing for the mouse. I highlight the mouse and I say delete device. And it tells it will be removed from the peer device list. If you want to connect it later, you need to search for available devices. I just repeat what I showed you earlier in, in, the, in the video. I just say yes. And now that's disconnected. And there's no more mouse or no more mouse or keyboard connectivity, right? I just have to use my smart remote. Right? That's it. Press my home button and then back to my home page, right? So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that was informative. Um, and as you can see, you can get a lot more out of your LG TV than just watching it, right? And enjoying content. You can enjoy other content with other input devices uh, like a mouse and keyboard. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Stay safe. Bye-bye. So I hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I'm appreciative of that as well, so thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.